with all pomp and ceremony, escorted by the mounted gendarme, the official party arrives at the plaza of St. Peter and reaches the Vatican itself, where full honors are accorded the first visit since the signing of the Lateran Treaty in 1929 of Mussolini himself, in formal court dress, befitting an audience by His Holiness. Preceded by the famous Swiss Guards in their uniforms designed 400 years ago by the great Michelangelo himself, the high papal court of the Vatican conducts the premiere down the beautiful Raphael Gallery. It's a most impressive gathering to celebrate a historic event, the cementing of relations between church and state in a conference that ends with mutual expressions of goodwill. It's the third time Mussolini has visited the Vatican, once to sign the treaty and hand the Pope $92 million indemnity, and the other time to attend the marriage of his daughter, Edda. Incidentally, the honors shown Mussolini by the Vatican were unusual and a rare tribute. He was received not merely as premier of Italy, but as chief of the Italian state. And a good time was had by all.